Hi guys, uh, my name is Kevin and I wanted to make a video today talking about uh, shooting ranges. Mostly the ones that are unmanned. So these would be the ones that places like a conservation department or somebody like that would put on. Uh, they're free, they're usually open to the public. Uh, well, they're always open to the public, but they're usually free. So uh, we have one that's pretty nice here in Missouri. Uh, this would be in southwest Missouri. And some of the things that I've noticed whenever I went to the range uh, that I just wanted to bring attention to. So I've been shooting a little bit of background. I've been shooting, been around firearms all my life. Uh, now I'm a little older than I care to admit, but we'll just say somewhere between 30 and 50. Something like that. Yeah. Anyways. Um, so a lot of the things that I've learned over the years was taught to be my, by my dad. So my dad was in the military. Uh, he was uh, qualified as a sharpshooter and expert uh, in the Army National Guard. So he's the one who taught me whenever I was probably around 12 years old or so uh, from there on. So, and a lot of the rest of the stuff is just things that I've picked up along the way. I am not a professional shooter. I just, I'm not, I've had a little bit of training uh, for, for various things, but nothing, uh, no, by no means am I a professional. And by no means is this in, intended to be all inclusive either. There's going to be things that I don't mention that you're going to think of. Um, you know, there's some things that I'm going to maybe bring up that, you know, are not technically, you know, they're not rules, but it's just good etiquette, okay? One of the first things that I wanted to bring up was, I, I went out today, there's a 25, a 50, and a 100-yard range. So, what today, it's a Sunday afternoon, and this is May, so it's pretty busy. And the 25-yard range had an open spot. I got up there, got set up, uh, was getting ready to shoot my pellet rifle just to sight it in 25 yards and then my 17 HMR my 22 rifle so anyway I'm getting ready to get set up I've got my pellet rifle set up and there's a few people that come up behind me and they set up get ready to go now most of the time at the range yes you're supposed to have hearing protection on you should also have safety glasses uh, while you're up there at the range or at the firing line anyway oftentimes People will take off their hearing protection in between rounds. So if people are setting targets up, stand there and talk for a minute. Uh, so it's pretty common. And the first thing you want to do is if you walk up there, and especially if you notice that somebody's not got hearing protection on, is you want to say, hey, uh, you know, are you okay? You ready to go? Uh, we're getting ready to shoot. <laughs> Something, right? I'm up there getting ready to shoot. I got my pellet rifle set up. I've got my muffs off because I'm thinking these guys are probably going to go set up a target, right? They don't say anything at all. Uh, and all of a sudden they just start firing from behind me. No word of warning, no nothing. Which irritated me a bit. Um, and I started paying attention to these people and just by watching them shoot and. Uh, you know, just kind of paying attention a little bit to how they were acting. These are people that are, are pretty new to it, I think. Uh, so they probably don't know. But, you know, you would think that common decency would dictate a certain level of common sense. Anyway, uh, but if it was common, more people would have it, right? So, anyway, <clears throat> number one, pay attention to everything that's going on around you, okay? Pay attention to other people that are at the firing line before you get ready to start shooting. Look. What are they doing? Is everybody stopped? Is everybody waiting on you? You know, do, is there somebody new that just walked up? Maybe they want to set up a target. Uh, you know, something. Uh, pay attention to what's going on around you. Okay, there's one. The other thing would be people that I will call, oh, like squatters, okay? So I've got some video footage. I'll probably go ahead and include it in this video as well. Uh, of some guys that I'm just going to call them range squatters. The range is full, okay? There's people waiting in line at the 25-yard range, which I went ahead and hurried up. I took my shots. I got a few things done that I wanted to get done, uh, but I would have definitely shot some more, 
But I decided to go ahead and, you know, step down and let the guys know that was right behind me. Hey, I'm getting ready to leave. You know, if you guys want this spot, you know, I'm going to go ahead and run under a clip through and then it's all yours. So, on the contrary, there's these guys that are set up over on the 50 yard range and they've got their spotting scopes and everything else set up. They look like they're the kind of guys that have a whole lot of gear and a whole lot of talk and maybe not a whole lot of action. I'm speculating. I may be judgmental. If so, I apologize. But anyway, these guys are all set up. They're on the 50 yard range. There's four stations, I believe, and every one of them is taken. And which is fine, you know, they're up there shooting and everything, they're friends, they obviously know each other anyways. So uh, I get to noticing that uh, about 30 minutes has went by and these guys are just sitting over there chit-chatting it up. Nobody's shooting, nobody's laying targets, nobody's loading, nothing. They're just sitting around, smoking cigarettes, and talking. Well, what the heck? There's a full range here, guys. You don't own this place. Get your butt off the range, you know. Either shoot uh, or get the heck out of the way. One of the two. It's simple. So, anyway, range squatters. And the funny thing is, is after I pulled up there, I went ahead and moved my truck. Had the AC turned on. Kind of cool off for a minute. And sat over there, and then they all started kind of looking at me. Just kind of kept looking over there, looking over there. And then they finally decided to go ahead and sit down. Three of them did and uh, start shooting while the other one just kind of stood there and held the shooting bench down. Uh, it's concrete. You know, he's probably afraid he's going to float away, I guess. I don't know. So anyways, range squatters. Don't be a range squatter. I realize accidents happen. People get to talking. They don't pay attention. I get it. Okay. But that's the main thing. Pay attention while you're at the range, okay? Um, the other thing that I noticed, and this was something that happened uh, right beside me. There were some people that had walked up. They were getting ready to go shoot. Um, and it was kind of weird because I guess th this, uh, this girl or lady that was with this guy, she was probably a little bit nervous because uh, I was shooting a rifle beside them. Well, in all actuality, you know, you shouldn't be stepping up in front of other guns. You should be shooting at your station. But a lot of these pistol shooters, and I've done it some myself, you know, usually when there's another pistol shooter beside me, uh, they step up in front of you. So they're, they're beside you, you know, say here, and they decide to go ahead and step up here closer. Well, the gun's technically behind them although it is off to the side. Anyway, she got kind of nervous, I guess, so she wouldn't shoot while I was on my rifle, which is fine. So I waited for her. You know, I'd shoot. I figured out what was going on because I was paying attention. Um, I went ahead and, you know, kind of waited. I let her run her clip through, and then after she was done, I'd go shoot, you know, just to try to be courteous to everybody. Um, but the one thing that the guy did that was with her, this guy was scary. And it's because he wasn't paying attention. She had a gun. She's firing her 9mm. Okay. So if you can imagine, I'm trying to think. I don't. I have a toy gun. There we go. So she's up there firing her gun. He's standing off to the side, kind of behind her a little bit. And it misfires. So she's got her gun, you know, pointed like. Let's see if I can get this on camera just right. She's got it pointed kind of like this right so she like holds it off here to the side so he can come up there and help her with it perfectly fine she's standing over here on this side he takes the gun and swings it right at her like this a loaded gun the clip's still in the chamber's closed it misfired he swings it right at her and is pointing it right beside everybody else that's standing over here to his left and then he clears the gun while he's pointing it towards her. I mean, I understand, you know, people talk about, you know, how your spouse or your girlfriend or somebody might tick you off and you're like, man, I'm going to shoot them. Well, I don't think he was serious this time, but uh, anyways, I'm like, good Lord, man, pay attention. So then he had his AR-15 out there and he's up there shooting it and stuff. Well, cool, you know. And then I same thing happens with the AR-15. He swings the gun, loaded, right back around at everybody else that's over here to the left of him. I'm like, 
if there's people walking down range, I will take my gun. If it's a clip, I will pull the clip on it, set it down, open the bolt, leave the bolt open, and leave it. Or I will swing it around to where it is not pointing down range towards people. I guarantee you, and I didn't pay because I should have watched them a little bit closer, but I guarantee you they had all their guns loaded and they were laying up there just like this, pointed right down range. So, you know, anyways, be careful. Somebody's going to get shot. I mean, I can see it happening and wind up screwing up something for everybody else. So, if you're at the range, main thing, pay attention to what's going on around you. Pay attention to the people that are beside you. Don't be a range hog. Wait on other people. If you've been there for a while, people are waiting, they're lined up, take a break for a while. Let somebody else shoot. Anyway, that's my rant, I guess. It wasn't intended to be. What it really comes down to is I want everybody to be safe and pay attention. So, thanks.